<laughs> okay. Good morning, coach. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Zena Sengenge from Tanzania. Yes. And I've I've got the privilege of coming to Philippines. And yeah, so this really brings a lot of memories. <laughs> okay, so I'll go direct to uh, actually with my, we met in Philippines and I'm sure I don't know if some of you know me, but yeah, she knows we know each other a lot, me and Wisma. We are besties. We call each other besties. We've been communicating since 2018. Yes, it was 2018. And yeah. So since then we've kept we've kept in touch. And yeah. So when she asked me, I couldn't refuse. Yeah, couldn't refuse. I said, oh, okay to be an honor to come and share with you guys. Okay, so I hope you can all hear me, right? Can you? Yes, coach, loud and clear. Loud, loud and clear, clear. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I'll go, go there, let me find the, I just, I prepare something short and so that I can share with you guys. My, I call this the story of my life. It's my journey since when I started my M Global business. Wow. And I'm very grateful for this wonderful business. I call it my life journal. <laughs> because to me, I believe my life started like the excitement and I discovered myself a lot of my abilities, my capabilities, my talents, and through this business of Fame Global. And I'm really grateful. I, I'm really grateful to the one who invited me. Okay. So as you can see me there, my, the successful story of the multi-billionaire, I call myself MB, <laughs> multi-billionaire. Zena, okay. Professionally, I'm an architect. I'm sure we all know who architects are. Yeah. Some calls us engineers. So yeah, but an architect. And but I'm also a businesswoman by choice. And I'm very, I'm very happy. And my talents, yeah, I, I heard people saying about their talents, but most my talent is public speaking. I love talking. I didn't know about this actually until when I joined them global. And the first time I was invited to speak on stage and they were like, hey, have you spoken before? Were you like a leader somewhere? I was like, no, it's my first time. But I commanded the stage like no other. So yeah, public speaking is my, my mm. talent. I love speaking. I love motivating, inspiring. So yeah. It keeps me going. So, yeah, I believe myself like that we can all be someone, someone great when we put our mind into it. So anyone can be anything they want. So greatness is for everyone. And also, I believe what? that I myself am the master of my destiny and no one else. And... I believe that I'm here in this universe so that I can be a great daughter to my parents. That's my mom, me and my mom, so that I can be a great sister to my siblings. Uh, we are, um, I come from a family of three, myself, and I'm the firstborn. So you can imagine the Lord on the firstborn, I'm the firstborn, and then the girl and the last one is still studying, our little brother. Also, I believe, you, you see, I had this dream before I even, I'm married right now and I have a kid, a beautiful baby boy, but I had this dream before I got married. And actually this script, some of this of these slides I prepared even before I got married. I believe that uh, um, in this universe also, I want to be a, a great mom to my child and to my husband, a great wife. The kind of wife who don't depend on her husband a hundred percent, no, no. Okay, and I also have dreams. These dreams are the one which keep me going. I believe that whoever have a dream, they will, they will make you str have, struggle a lot, like hustle a lot, 
they will make you wake up early in the morning. So these are the dreams. The bigger your dream is, the harder you're going to work for them. And you'll never give up because no matter how many challenges you got, I like the, some of the challenges, like when we started the first, the first nanny, the first Zoom meeting, and there are people like the bad mouthing, like cursing a lot, and those are challenges, and they are no more ones. So when you have big dreams, those challenges and the no's we get along the way, they will never disappoint you because you know that what you want. So my dream is to live the life to the fullest, traveling. So coming to the Philippines was me taking one of my dreams also. And also I love machines. There are, I believe there are cars and machines. So I love machines, the big cars, the great cars, the expensive ones, eh? the Range Rover Vela, the Jeep Wranglers. So yeah, I'm that kind of person. Yeesh. Hi. <laughs> I'm really excited right now. Okay. My I'm I get really emotional and excited talking about my dreams. Okay. My passion for the good life. This is one thing that keeps me going. One of my, you see there, it's my dream house, the house by the beach. Yeah. Those of us who love staying by the by the ocean, like the the, the room which of us overlook the oceans. Yeah. I'm so excited traveling, eh? seeing different amazing parts of the world. Also, my one of my dreams is entering the Forbes, the Forbes list, the list of the most richest, richest billionaires. That's why I call myself multi-billionaire. Okay. The legacy, I want to be able to look at my kids and they say, oh, mommy, we are proud of you. What? the things you have accomplished, the things you have done for us. Yeah, just, uh, I'm just, just excited, okay? So this is where my success journey began. I studied and I finished my university. There's my picture of me with my siblings on my graduation. And then I started working, I was employed. This, I, I'm, I really envy those of you who started this business early when you are still, maybe you are on in college or maybe you're just young. And I, I really envy you because I never got this opportunity until when I started my job. Okay? Before that, I, I knew in my head there was this like, go to school, finish, go to work, and then work, 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 work. I didn't know, no one, you see, I'm the first one in my family. So I had none, no one to tell me like, you see, life is like this and this and this and this, no. So I started there, I finished with a GPA of five, the first class in my, I was the first one in my, in my, in my bachelor of architecture, I was the first students there. I received a prize. So all I knew was studying. So I studied very hard. I knew if I studied very hard, I'm going to have a very luxurious life. So I started very hard. I finished with a very high GPA and I was employed. I finished like today in the two days. Yeah, like today, then I was doing my exams, my final exams, and I already had I already had offers for a job because I was really good. So they I was employed right away. Like I finished on Friday, Saturdays, and even before my graduation, I was already in my in the office in the job working. And I, I knew like now I'm going to read to live the life of my dreams. But when I, I reached there, I found people like have been working for 10 whole years, for more than 10 years, and they don't even own a car, a simple car a very cheap car, they don't have that. They're saying life is hard. I'm like, okay, so I have to work like 10 years. And there is this one, one day I entered the office and there is one of the co-worker co, co who came and he has been working for, there for like 18 years and he has just bought his first car and everyone was cheering him up. And the cars, if you know the ISTs, these, the very, very cheap cars, the, the first cheap cars and I was like they were like yay very good congratulations I was like it's a Toyota it's a normal car and I was like what so 
He's been working for 18 years and he's managed to buy his first car and everyone is happy and everyone is saying, if you can do it, you can do it. I'm like, wow, if he can do it for 18 years, so I have to stay here for 18 years. I counted my years, you see, and we study a lot. So I say, okay, all the years I've studied and then I plus 18 more for me to own this simple, like a very cheap car. I got very disappointed because my dreams were bigger and I couldn't see them coming true in, in the office. So thank God, a friend of mine, the, the one there standing, let me get a, another pic, this one, Mr. Abdullah Aziz, he's a downline to Farid Aliye. If you know upline Farid Aliye, coach Farid Aliye, he, she's my upline. Farid Aliye is the downline, direct downline to Duncan Kamukama. So even my upline is the direct to Duncan Kamukama. So I'm not that far. And Duncan to Elias Muhozi. So the upline of mine for, called me and told me, I was told me like Zena, I was I was coached on Facebook. I was prospected on Facebook. And I'm grateful for these social networks. So you should use them well. I was prospected on, on Facebook and he told me like, there's this amazing opportunity. Come and see, come and have a look. I was like, what is it about? You see, in the office, a lot of people disappoint each other. They say, ah, network marketing, yeah. Don't, don't ever go to those scams. You see, they call them scams because they don't understand the business. They don't understand our world. So. When I, I'm, I'm glad he never told me like it was a network marketing. He told me like you just come and see. You see, some some people we lose some people because we tell them like direct like it's network marketing. We pitch the business right away through the phone, and they get disappointment from the office because when I was at the office, there is this I knew the people I was working with, so it was easy for me to trust the people in the office like than the stranger from Facebook. But he didn't tell me there about the business. He told me like, if you want money, just come and meet me. It's about money. We are going to be rich. You want to be rich? I see your profile. You, you are a person who is hardworking and you seem like you have big goals and you want to be successful. And this is another thing which you can work part time apart from your work, the job you're working and you can make some extra income. And I was looking for something like that. I was looking for a way to make an extra income apart from my work I was doing at the office. I was making about, at the office, I, was, I wasn't making a little money. No, I was making about 1.5 million Tanzanian shillings, which is about, I don't know if you convert it into dollar, 1.5 million Tanzanian shillings. It's a lot, according to this, to my country. It's a lot of money which I was paid at the office, but it was never enough. It wasn't enough at all compared to my goals. So I went to meet him. And that's me when I went to meet him. I was very, very tired from the office. I came from the office and then I went to meet him. And he told me about the business. And I met there, you can see a plan Farid Ali Hay. For those who, who know Coach Farid Ali Hay, that's when she was really beginning. That's, this was her team. Right now she has a very big team, but this was her team. She, you can see it's very small team and she was very, very broke at that time also. So it was the beginning time. And they told me, no, we are going to be very rich. So I sat with people at that time, compared to me, I was marking, they, they just started the business. It just came to Tanzania. Actually, we were registering from Uganda. They told me like, we are going to be very rich. According to where, where we seated, at that time, I was making a lot of money at my job compared to them because they just started the business. But I believed in them. I believed in them. And I said, okay, let's do this. I believe in our dreams in that we can accomplish big. They say if you have positive people around you, you are going to achieve more compared to negative people. So I started the business. My journey started. And this is what M Global has done for me so far. First of all, I had a lot of cages and through using the products, the first accomplishment from AIM Global was, was the products. Through using the products, I minimized from 97 kgs up to 56 kgs. You can see from 
the difference in the pictures that was me before I started using the products and me after I used the product, I became very, they say, ha, you are very young, you seem like a big mom. I was like, no, I'm small. Okay, so it's the results of pizzas and burgers. So yeah, but the products helped a lot. I use coffee. I use college juice. I use all my pack, but a lot, I used a lot of coffees instead of putting sugar in my tea. So I started using our amazing coffees. So yeah. And also, yeah, you can see the difference there while I'm standing, those two pictures before and, and after. And also another thing through M Global, I quitted my job. I fired my boss. You see an architect. A retired architect, retired young. <laughs> ah, this is amazing. My dream was to retire before I'm 30. So I didn't even reach there and I already retired. This was my first check from AIM Global. After earning like twice, twice the money I was earning at my office from the business, I decided to retire and do the business patiently with passion full time. So I started doing the business and then I had a lot of accomplishment. That was me recognized as a silver executive, but also I had a lot of people under me, started building serious business, big team. Those all those are my downlines under me. This was me in Uganda. We went, I even went to Uganda during and I was recognized there also. That one you can see at the picture is Mr. Limpin recognizing me in Uganda. And that was, that was me in Uganda as well, me and my upline. They say when you, your upline is going to hold your hand, you have to believe in your upline. If your upline is not serious, then the upline, the top uplines, you go up until you find a serious upline, you work with that upline, and that upline is going to help you grow. Because in our business, the more you help the, your downlines grow, you are going to grow. I'm, I, I really love that principle, that philosophy in our business, that you have to help the one under you so that you can also rise. We rise together. So that is all my team. I started with no one, but then my team started be booming, becoming bigger. We work till midnight. Eh? We work till midnight. This is why when they asked me like this time, I was like, this time is still... It's still early for a networker, for a serious business business person, okay? And we started having fun. Like you, when you have money, you go to serious places, big hotels, yeah, you have fun. Eh? You can see there, Mr. Benedict, Coach Benedict Kele. Benedict Kele and me, we are left and right of our upline. Eh? So the upline is very blessed <laughs> to have me and Mr. Benedict as the downlines is very serious also, making serious money. So that's for me, Coach Farid Ali, hey, you can see, we went, we go to beaches, to, to, to the beach, we have fun. Eh? When I, I was overweight, I couldn't ice skirting, but after I lost, I lost some weight, I could ice skirting. So yeah, when you have, I, I, if also when I was employed, I didn't have time. I worked till the weekend. But now I have freedom of my time. I can decide, okay, Monday is my Sunday. So it doesn't, it's not necessary for me to rest on Sunday. I can rest on Wednesday. So in this business, that's, you have freedom of time also to plan your, your week, okay? And this is me when I was, I was recognized and being selected among the few, the special few to come to the Philippines. This was the dream coming true. It was my first time to have a passport. I never had a passport. And I, my dream was like, I, when I reached 18 and I never even have, flew in an air, airplane, I said, okay, the first trip, trip for me to, to go to, I'd like for it to be an international trip. And this was my first trip to come to the Philippines. So M Global did this to me. And I'm really grateful for this amazing opportunity. So this is me. We and when we come to the Philippines, they book us the very expensive luxurious transport, the Emirates. So yeah, this is this is me also. We and with my airplane, we took a picture and a plane so that when you tell someone, they say, "Ah, oh, is it true?" Because in Africa, some people like to have proof. So 
this is one of the proof, okay? This is me in Dubai, the first time to reach Dubai. Never reached Dubai before, but this was the first time to reach Dubai. It's really excitement, exciting trip. This is me and Coach Benedict Kelly in the Philippines when we came for the, for the anniversary, 2018. This was 2018. Okay, the life-changing opportunity. This is where the hotel we were staying. In my country, when I tell people, I say, okay, we stayed in that top, top most floor. So they're like, wow. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is the Philippines arena. Some people see this on televisions, but I got the chance to reach there because in my country, we don't have such a big arena, but thank God for the amazing opportunity of Fame Global. And now this is me also. These are the pictures in the Philippines. Yeah. You see, it's an excitement, an exciting trip, and it was amazing. Though this is us in the arena, me, Coach Bennett Kelly, and my airplane, Mr. Abdul Aziz. So ha, amazing, amazing. Ah, I really miss you guys. I really miss coming there. Okay, this is also me. I love traveling. Okay. And also what I love about the these opportunities, the the, the the that opportunity to save lives to help other people like when you have it you 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 give to others so the 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 event which we had their life foundation it's amazing it's really really amazing so these were the when i'm in my country I really i show people like what we did there thinking what we do what the company does like helping others, helping those in needs. So yeah, this is me also again in the pictures. Okay. Okay, this is the shopping mall. Okay, in my country, we have malls, but we don't have such big malls. So it's really an eye-opening. So it was really an adventure to come to the mall of Asia, the 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 mall of the mall, oh, this was the mall opposite the hotel we were staying. We were staying at Malayani, and yeah, on the opposite side, there was this big mall. So, yeah, it's really amazing. So, it was really an amazing opportunity, amazing trip. Okay, this was us. So, here we have an Indian Ocean. So, when I'm an, in my country, I tell people, like, huh, have you, you, have you reached to the Pacific Ocean? Ha, it's amazing. So have you ever touched the Pacific Ocean water? So, <laughs> oh, only the Indian Ocean. So it helps like closing deals. Uh -huh. So this is also me, the fun we had on the leaders team building in the Philippines. This is still in the Philippines. So you can see, I love fun. Eh? And I really, so that is me and Coach Wisma. Oh, you can see us there. This was in, this was, I met her in an M Global office and we bonded since then. So yeah, I got the chance to make friendship and break about friendship. Uh, if I didn't join, I didn't join M Global, when would I have met her? Possibly none, okay? Okay, so these are the other, people I met in the in the Philippines, the Nigerians. I can hear my baby has woken up, so I'll go a bit faster. <laughs> okay, and these are also other people, the teamwork. I can I can remember when we were told to build to stick this paper until we come with the C24 seven later there. So it was really hard work and others didn't speak English, others didn't speak the French. So yeah, we had to work as a team. So this is me being with Dr. Ed, Dr. Ed there. So yeah, it's amazing. And this is me with our, our leaders, so, yeah, me being given prizes, certificates. So, and this was me being recognized as a millionaire club in Philippines yeah, with my trophy. So in this, in this business, I always tell people like, remember your story. Remember your story because one day you are going to be asked to, to tell it. That was me before starting in Global. You can see the way I was and you can see the changes from this one to this person. And I'm still changing, I'm still improving day after day. And this is also one of my biggest accomplishments. This is my friend I met, I went with in Uganda. My best friend I met in 2017. Uh, he's called Mr. Said. 
we met in AIM Global. And also that Mr. Said happened to be my husband right now. We got married in, 20, in 2019 last year. So ah, I met my husband in AIM Global. What if I said no? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm glad I did not say no. Eh? What if I said no? Eh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know, sometimes when you, you have to tell people like you don't know what you are going to accomplish in this business. So if I said no, it means, and one of my dream was to get married to an African American person. He's an African, so his, his grandfather is a, an American. So yeah. That was my dream. I, I wrote it since I was in, in the university. You see, that's why they tell you, like, write your dream. You don't know when you are going to accomplish it. You don't know the how, but you just write it. You just write it down because you don't know. When you write it down, the universe makes it way for you to accomplish it. So the moment you write your goals down, your dreams down, you start seeing ways opening for you. And when the door comes, you come for you, opens for you, you have to walk in. So when the opportunities come, you take them and you work at them seriously. So I'm glad I met my husband in M Global. You see, the, at this time, we didn't know that we were going to get married. We say, hey, let's take a picture, let's take a picture, like a random. And then we became friends. And then this was in Uganda. And then, para, we got married. Yeah, like, Two years later. You see, when we met, when I joined the Global, I didn't know like two years later, I was going to like one year when I'm like this year, maybe I joined like in the end of the year. We I joined at the beginning of the year 2017. And then at the end of the year, I met my best friend, my husband. I when I joined, I didn't know that I was going to meet him. I didn't know that this dream I wrote. When I'm, I was at the university, I was going to take it after I joined the, my business in Global. Like, I'm really grateful. And also, these are the members of the team of M Global, of my team, yeah. and other cross lines who came to the wedding. So it was an amazing. So you, you make friends and they become family. They come, they attend your ceremonies. So it's amazing. This was my this is my husband and Mr. Benedict Kelly, the coach Benedict Kelly. So oh, it's amazing. They came, they dressed as if they are Muslims. They are not. All of these are not Muslim, except my husband, but they came and be, and wore like they are Muslim. So when we are family. We work together, we celebrate together. So, and Alhamdulillah, thank God. We have right now an amazing, wonderful, beautiful baby boy. You see, things compile up, pa, 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 go after go. Ta, 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 ta. You see, when I, in 2015, I wrote a goal, like I, I was going to get married in 2018. I, I wrote 2018, I'm getting married, end of 2018. I didn't get married end of 2018, but I got married at the beginning of 2019, March 29. You see, when they go, you, you this is where you are told that write your goals, write the deadlines for your goals, okay? And also I said, okay, my first, my first kid in my dream book, my first kid, 2020. I wrote that in 2015, my first kid, 2020. And okay, 2020, January, my first kid. You see, like, I'm like, what? So I'm really excited. So write your goals look at them daily, work on them nonstop. You, no matter how much you work, no matter how, much, how many disappointments you get, don't never give up. You just keep working, keep working. Things will start working out for you. And yeah, his name is Arian, by the way. Right now he's 11, 10 months, going to 11 months. He's 10 months old, Arian. You can see it's a cute, beautiful baby boy. Oh. Nice. <laughs> so that's me. I'm a mother now. Uh, that's another wedding photos of her. I love this phrase a lot. You can have everything in life you want if you just help enough other people get what they want. Period. You just use it. You can have everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want period all you have to do is that the secret uh -huh. for success
in M Global, in life. That's the secret of success in life, Zig Ziglar. And that's what we are doing in M Global, helping other people getting what they want, period. Then you get what, you have to be selfless to be successful. You have to be what? You have to be selfless. You don't have to be selfish. Even in this business, you have to be self. Help, 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 help. And then you realize you just, and then you just get what you want. You just accomplish your goals. Another one from a very wise man. Love, we are going to remember him always. Never look for an inspiration, become it. Our late Mr. Francis, Miguel. Huh? Never look for an inspiration, become it. Become an inspiration for others. How do you become an inspiration? Work hard, work, work hard. You want to be like someone, become that someone. You want to be good at speaking, start speaking. You want to be good at prospecting, start prospecting your first person. Then you start seeing things going, going well for you. You want to be good at closing deals. You start doing it. You don't wish. And you don't go look for anywhere. You are an inspiration. You become it. Do your very best every day. Every day ask yourself, what have I done today? How many people have I helped today? Okay, so I always say stay tuned. In my country, we, in my language, say Jaren Afraisha. What coming? What's coming is more exciting than what's already, what we have already accomplished. And always remember, you can never win a new championship with an old team. Always sponsor, sponsor new people, sponsor new blood, sponsor. Keyword, sponsor, 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 sponsor. So if, even if when someone asks, how do, how do I earn more money? Sponsor. How do I accomplish my goal? Sponsor. How do I reach that? Sponsor. How do I get that Mr. Elias Muhoz in my team? Sponsor. So sponsor, sponsor, keep working hard. And Thank you very much for your time. And I'm really grateful. And I really enjoyed sharing with you guys. God bless you all. <laughs> and you can see I'm here. I just picked him up. He, he was, he just, you can see, he, he just woke up and he came here and I picked him up and he slept again. So I have to go and put him together. We want to see now. your baby. <laughs> that was very amazing sharing. Oh, yeah. hello, baby. <laughs> She's so cute. Coach, we came on a coach. Yes, thank you very much, Coach. And now, okay. we thank are you so very much. Yes, we are so inspired for your achievement and our company. So we are blessed that you are here right now so that I know a lot of our business partners here, they are also inspiring right now. And then, yeah, you're right. You told that don't give up, try and try help the other people because that's the way how to also become a successful in this business, helping business. So if you have a lot of people that you are helping in this business, it is it is given to you that you become like Coach Zena. So thank you very much, Bestie. We are blessed. We thank are blessed. You. And we are so inspired for your achievement. So before that, uh, we have a, a certificate of appreciation. Uh, appreciation. Uh, sorry, sorry. 